Why would anybody want to build a dome-shaped underground house? Well, they're super energy efficient. They use about 80 to 90% less energy than a conventional home. Uh, they have about a 90% reduction in annual maintenance. The biggest reason, though, is that they're virtually indestructible. Two weeks after I buried the house that you see in the picture, I had 50-foot high flames 10 feet from the house on all three sides. The fire department never put a drop of water on my property. Um, they were, meanwhile, dousing the two houses on either side of me, trying to keep them from going up. But they said my house, they didn't really have to worry about. They did keep an eye on it, and they never put any water on the property. Besides being fireproof, they're also highly earthquake resistant. Um, and people always go, oh, what about if there's a fault under the house? Okay, yeah, if the ground cracks and separates under the house, I don't care what you're in. It's not going to it's not gonna withstand that. But these houses actually do withstand quakes. Um, part of the reason is because they're a dome. A square house has corners. The corners act like hinges and they flex, and that's where the house usually fails. In a dome house, the dome has no corners. There's no place to flex. Because the house is actually underground and it's surrounded by earth, it can't sway and rock. They're also resistant to hurricanes, tornadoes, mudslides, pretty much you name it. They're virtually uh, indestructible and resistant to it. Um, the dome that you see in this picture is only four and a half inches thick. And yes, that is a 10,000 pound bulldozer parked on the roof. Um, during the time that we buried it, my bulldozer, as well as another 35,000 pound dozer and a bunch of dirt was on it. The cost per square foot is comparable to any mid to high end standard regular home. You'll spend a lot more in concrete and steel, but you spend a lot less in framing instead of a roof you're gonna put on a rubberized roofing membrane. And the beauty of that is it never needs to be replaced. Rubber only deteriorates in the sun, so once it's buried, it's, it's good, uh, indefinitely. Um, your plumbing and electrical should cost the same as any regular house. Drywall is gonna basically be the same, but you'll use a lot less drywall because a big chunk of the outer walls of your house are actually made out of concrete. Those get plastered. You'll use a lot less insulation. You will spend more in grading, usually, depending on where your site is. If you're building in hillside properties, hillside properties are often cheaper because they're harder to build on and most people can't figure out how to build on them. In fact, the house that I built in Chatsworth was a lot that had sat on the market for over six or seven years. Um, at that time, lots in that neighborhood had sold for around 300,000. I bought my lot for 50 because nobody could figure out how to build on it. Is it damp? That's another question I get. Um, where I'm building in Southern California, it's pretty dry, so humidity isn't a problem. But if you're building in places where humidity is an issue, then you might have to put in a dehumidifier. Um, all of these houses have a ventilation system to make sure that you have clean airflow, clean air coming in and old air going out, um, which solves any problem with dampness. Is it dark? That's a question I get a lot. Um, we designed the house so that the front, the face that's exposed, has a lot of glass. And what you do is you put your living space to the front and you put your closets in the bathrooms to the back. Well, the house I built in Chatsworth and the one I'm now building over in Topanga has nine foot high ceilings on the first floor and 15 foot high ceilings on the second floor. The walls of the dome actually curve up so where the wall meets the floor, it's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of a tighter space, but you design and lay out the house so that you don't really notice that and you put your closets towards those outside walls as well. So I never had an issue with, with being claustrophobic. And in fact, most of the people who came into my house didn't even realize the house was underground until they walked up onto the roof and saw that basically my roof was covered in grass and plants and trees. So that's an introduction to dome-shaped underground houses. I hope you'll join me for the journey of the build on mine right now we've gotten the foundations and footers are in the dome has been delivered and we will start building it and you guys will be able to come along for the ride hope you enjoy it thanks for watching <laughs>